Hey guys, EVP Man here. So what do you get when you combine a skateboard-like experience with a scooter? Well, you get the Future 10. And today we're gonna to take a look at a three-wheeled scooter from Sky Motors. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Future 10. It's a unique three-wheeled scooter that combines the experience of riding a longboard with the power of a scooter. We're gonna take a look at the features, we're gonna look at the specs, and we're also gonna go on a ride, and I'm gonna help you with your buying decision. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. Now, from a performance perspective, this scooter will support anywhere from a teenager all the way up to an adult weighing 200 pounds. The scooter does have a 500 watt motor and also can have a maximum range of 20 miles with a maximum speed of 20 miles. Now, one of the things that stands out about this scooter, in addition to its three-wheeled model, it's the long board. This long board is made out of genuine wood and has a skid-proof material here that's going to maintain your grip as you're standing on it. The brake system also is really unique where you have a dual braking system in the back that's disc-based and you also have an internal braking mechanism inside of the front tire. So when you press the brake, all three brakes are going to be engaged and give you a really firm stop. Now one of the things I like about this scooter is that the display is easy to read even in direct sunlight. So you can see here your battery gauge, you can see your miles per hour as well as the distance that you traveled and it's very clear in direct sunlight or even while riding at night. Now charging the scooter is pretty straightforward. The charging port for the scooter is in the top, but you also have an additional port that allows you to charge your smartphone. So you have two USB ports. They're gonna charge your iPhone or Android phone. Now this scooter is a variable speed scooter. So simply by pressing the up arrow, you're gonna go from speed one to speed two to speed three to speed four, and lastly, speed five. Now, if you're using your scooter for commuting and you want to switch between riding the scooter, a bus, or a train, it's really easy to fold up your scooter and get it ready for transportation on a bus, a train, or even if you want to fold it and put it in your car. So the first thing I advise you to do is you unlock the steering column so that you have flexibility here. The second thing is I would pull this latch here and then all you have to do is raise the scooter, just like this. Once it's raised, the handle comes down, just like this. You can lock it into place and now you're ready to go. All you have to do is tilt forward and walk with your scooter just like this. Now let's go ahead and take it for a ride. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the suspension and the overall ride. Now the ride in the scooter is really smooth. Given the suspension that we see in the back, as well as the fact that these are inflatable tires, you really negotiate well the imperfection of the road. So we're in Chicago, we've had snow, and our streets are not the best as you can see here. But the overall impact to my body, at least, is very, very negligible. I really don't feel a lot of the bumpiness that I would normally feel with maybe um, other scooters that don't have a suspension system. All right, so now we're in a parking lot. I just want to show you how the suspension system of the scooter works. Now, I, my comparison, I said that it was very similar to riding like a longboard, and this is why I would say that. So watch this. I'm going to tilt this way. So I, the tires are not lifting from the ground. This is basically the suspension that we saw in the video that it has in the back. That's how much tilt it has or, or sway, which makes it really cool when you're riding the scooter because uh, as you lean into curves, you can actually lean. It's almost like drifting to the left or drifting to the right. Let's go ahead and start it up and we'll see how that works as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick to start. So you do two times and then you kick off. So you can see me driving here pretty smooth, but I'm gonna shift left and right. And as I'm shifting left to right, again, you can see how much sway you got. Really, really cool, really, really smooth as you go left to right. And the speed picks up really nicely. Remember, this thing will go up to 20 miles an hour. I'm weighing around 190, and you can see me turn right here. So I'm gonna tilt to the left, or in this case to the right, we're going to do this one more time. And I'm going to go top speed so you can see the actual speed. You'll be able to see the speed pick up just by the line. So I'm going around 20 miles an hour now. This is going to give you a sense of the speed of what's going on there. And once again, super duper smooth, super duper smooth. Acceleration is good too. Acceleration is good. And also for those of you who may be worried about you know, sometimes falling off of a scooter, the fact that this scooter, when you get off of it, doesn't require a kickstand to stand it up is also really cool. We're gonna get to this turn here in a second and I am going to slow down and then I'm gonna lean to the right so you can see the leaning. 
So here I am leaning. So you can see how much of an extreme lean you can take. And now I come back to the straight position. I'm gonna do that one more time so that you can see the lean. And again, you can negotiate really easily from side to side. So we're gonna lean right here. And I'm leaning, not even that much turning the tire. All I'm doing is leaning, and this is the kind of experience you get. So this is why I like this scooter. It's really cool to ride, very fun and fast. All right, guys, so I thought this would be pretty fun. I'm gonna be coming up to a speed cam just to see what it's clocking right now in my speed. So you see that right there on the side? That's the speed cam, and it's actually taking some pictures because I'm going too fast. <laughs> 17 miles is what it's clocking right now. How fun is that? So that concludes our review of the Future 10 three-wheeled scooter. What did you think about that ride experience? Would love to hear from you in the comment area below. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.